Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about how your point of impact changes if you throw in a 22 conversion bolt in your 5.56 rifle. Okay, so uh, this right now has the Halluson 510C on it. Uh, and uh, with 5.56, it, it has a 50 yard zero. So my first zero is at 50 yards. Second zero is at 200 yards. At 100 yards, I'm about three to four inches high. Okay, uh, so when I put in the 22 conversion bolt, what happens? Well, one of the things to, to recognize is that you don't actually have a zero. Uh, and I mean, and here's what I mean by that. The bullet actually never comes high enough to intersect your line of sight. So with the 5.56, five, the way this is set up, uh, you know, your line of sight is straight and the barrel is pointed slightly up so that the bullet basically rises. Because basically the, the line of sight is about two and, two and three quarter inches above your barrel. So the barrel is slightly up so that the bullet is gonna come up. Uh, it's going to intersect at 50 yards. It's gonna keep rising, you know, until it gets to about 100 yards where it's gonna be three to four inches high. Then it'll start coming back down where it intersects again at 200 yards, okay? So with the 22 conversion bolt, we never get that intersection, okay? So there is no true zero when you put in the 22 conversion bolt, but we can still hit our target as as long as we know our holdovers okay so when you put in the 22 conversion bolt uh it's it's all about holdovers at that point uh so uh it's gonna look something like this uh from 10 yards so basically first of all this is your 65 moa circle there's in red there's a two moa dot in the middle then you got your four hashes over here so from 10 yards all the way out to 100 yards you can pretty much put the dot on top of your target and my target was uh, uh was one foot wide two feet tall if you put the target on the dot on top of your target you're gonna get hits okay so that's 10 yards all the way out to 100 yards now at 150 yards uh is a pretty fast drop uh what you're gonna do is you see that little hash over there well you're gonna put this hash at the bottom of your target right you see how i have that there so at 150 yards i have the uh, 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 uh what did i say uh Target that is one foot wide, two feet tall. You put this hash at the bottom of the target and you're gonna get your hits. At 200 yards, what I do is I move the hash uh, so the hash is basically on top of the target at the bottom, okay? So, so whereas here, you're at the bottom of the target, like underneath it, here you move it so that it's in that spot. So it's, it's kind of weird how, like from here, from, from 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 10 to 100 yards there's this gigantic drop all right um but then from 150 yards to 200 yards proportionately the the drop doesn't seem like it's that much but but that's what it is and the reason for this oddness uh is because you don't have a true zero okay so right out of the gate like you know basically at you know you, 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 the, the 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 barrel is not pointed up uh, far enough to ever get that intersection. So that's why you get what appears to be a massive drop after you go past 100 yards, okay? So 10 yards to 100 yards, you put your dot just over your target. Uh, and that works with the with the big targets, you know, the, the one foot by two foot targets. It also works with these eight inch targets over here. Um, you know, and as you go further out, you need bigger targets, but up close over here from, uh, you know, at the, um, you know, at the, uh, 10 yards and the 30 yards, this works just fine, okay? So at 150 yards, your sight picture is gonna look like this, right? You put the bottom hash right underneath the target, and then at 200 yards, you're gonna take the bottom of the hash, you're gonna move it to that position over there, right? That's gonna get you out to 200 yards. And also, this is also gonna work for you from zero to five yards, right? So in your CQB distance, zero to five yards, you're doing the same thing. Now, normally with, uh, if you've got the 5.56, five, right, in CQB distance, that's what we're using. We're using the bottom over here. So that, that, that's working the same, okay? So at close distance, at zero to five yards in CQB distance, uh, your holdover is the same with the 5.56 five, or 22. You're using the bottom hash. And again, the reason is because even if you've got a 5.56 five, in here, right, your line of sight's up here, your, your barrel is down here. So even with a 5.56 five, in zero to five yards, it hasn't had a chance to rise. 
Uh, so that's why we're using the bottom hash of that 65 MOA server. So that, that doesn't change with 22, right? So the interesting thing here is that that actually stays the same. Um, so I'm, I'm really not too surprised with what I saw up here, right? At, from the 10 yards to 100 yards, that goes right at the top of the target. I was somewhat surprised with what I saw down here, um, where at 150 yards, my... My hash is right underneath the target, whereas at 200 yards, it's in that position there. I, I expected something different. I expected the 20, the 200 holdover to be a lot more. Um, you know, I expect it to be holding a lot higher, but it's not. And and the reason again for this is because you never have a true uh, a true zero, right? All you have is holdovers. So that's why we have like this drastic change up here. Like from, from up here, from from 10 yards to 100 yards, there's a big difference in holdover when we get down to 150 yards. So I thought that was interesting for you guys to check out. Uh, let me know what you guys think. You get a chance to try this out. Uh, this one of the reasons why I love the 65 MOA circle because uh, you can use it as a, as an anchoring point for your uh, for your holdovers. Uh, I one of the things I have not been able to figure out yet is which 556. Five, where does the bottom get me? I mean, uh, uh, I, I, I'm estimating somewhere like this holdover over here with a 556, I think should be somewhere around 600, 700 yards. I haven't had a chance to really test that out. Excuse me, to test that out. Um, but uh, with the 22s, it definitely comes in really handy. Uh, it gives you, you know, it gives you, it gives you ability to get on target at 150 yards uh, and 200 yards. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, Drop some comments below. Let me know what you think. I'll talk to you all soon.